So very on in the game's life cycle, I'd mentioned that the WSP9 or the Uzi is my favorite weapon in the entire game, simply because this weapon had a little bit of a skill gap to it. By no means was this thing meta. At the same time, it was extremely satisfying to get kills with simply due to the slower fire rate and high damage profile of the weapon. I still stand by that. One of my favorite weapons in this entire game. My attachments have relatively stayed the same throughout the entire year simply because it hasn't gotten any buffs or nerfs. This one is a little different, however. We're not chucking on a barrel and we're not focusing so much on the recoil side of the weapon. For our first attachment here, I am using the Slate Reflector. This is going to be a preference. I know a lot of people like the Iron Sights or maybe even a different optic altogether. I just wanted to try out the Slate Reflector here and it did a very good job. For a rear grip, I do have the Marauder Grip for gun kick control, fire aiming stability, along with recoil control. We're not sacrificing any aim down sight speed with this attachment, but it is going to limit some of that recoil that is definitely here on the WSP9, 10% to the gun kick, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control there. For a magazine, I am going with the 40 round mag. Since I've taken off fast hands, I do like to use some extended mags here just because it's I've run out of bullets a lot quicker and can't reload very quickly. So this is a preference as always. You can go with the 32, the 25, or the 50. It's gonna depend on your play style. For an under barrel, I'm going to be speeding up not only the aim down sight speed, but also increasing that recoil control with the SL skeletal vertical grip. So we're gonna be gaining 7% to the gun kick control, 8% to the vertical recoil control, 6% to the ADS speed, and 5% to the sprint to fire speed. Prior to this, this is the big attachment that's changing. I used to use the Bruin heavy support grip on this weapon but I did want to speed it up a little bit with this particular build, and this did do a very good job. Sure, it's not as good at long range, but it is an SMG after all, so this ends up benefiting it overall. In our final attachment is the Zem Compensated Flash Hider for not only vertical and horizontal recoil control, but also fire aiming stability. The fire aiming stability obviously controls the visual shake on the weapon, so that's exactly why this attachment is necessary at the end of the day. Those 5% to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical are also great added perks here. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen and in support of pride month i decided to buy this bundle i know it's not a pride bundle but it's rainbow so i, I just you know supporting the cause and stuff here is also the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys felt the need to copy this down as well make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button we're gonna go fry with the uzi to feature this setup and you guys are gonna enjoy. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. We are out here with the WSP9, AKA the Uzi. I saw a setup that people were using or, you know, one of those sites on Twitter that talk about, that pose like meta war zone builds. I saw them put out a build and I tried it out and it was kind of awful to be honest. Like straight up just was not very good. So I wanted to make my own changes to it. And this was my result to making changes. Uh, theirs was so unsteady and I don't know, it just didn't feel good. So I wanted to make my own build to prove that you don't need to follow other necessarily other people's setups or the quote unquote meta setups for it to be good. It's all about your personal play style. And as you guys know, I think I make the best setups in the game. So by statistics, their setups may be better for sure, but that's only by the statistics, you know what I mean? Not necessarily by what feels good. And in my opinion, this feels much better than what they put out. Okay, that kind of sucked. Okay, I'm unsure of the spawn situation. But we got to start focusing OBJ. So I'm going to try to get around the back here, make sure I don't get shot in the back. The Uzi's no joke. It's not the easiest weapon to be accurate with, but it is still no joke. Save me, teammate. I'm kind of teed at the moment, but by teed, I'm horrified. I'm going to abandon this, I think. 
they're running at me like freaking zombies and it's horrifying I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna drop it in middle I'm gonna just go I think it's gonna be my best move all right teammate I'm stuck I don't know what I'm on for a streak here. Okay, well done, matter. Time to win the game. Holy crap. Go with the swarm. My team should spawn on that hill. I think I just called two swarms at once. See how that goes. Wait, I'm playing against a freaking dev. That's unbelievable. I'm playing against a dev right now. This guy's demonware. So his name's Sailing YYC. That's a dev, bro. I've never played against a dev before. Now watch, I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> That was him too. Oh, jeez them. So he's using the Holger kit. Okay. No, that's actually cool, bro. I've never played against a dev. That's actually a cool experience. That guy, D Corp guy is kind of streaking up. There he is. Where's his counter UAV? Gotta win the game, actually. Uh, my team's all there. Oh, I'm missing. Gotta go. Where are they spawning? Okay, I think we flipped. Why is it always me? <laughs> I can't escape it, dude. Yeah, we got to beat the dev. No point in doing all this work to lose. Oh, I did not even see him. We're spawning at. Oh, no, we spawned close. Good. Shot. 
That calling card's cool, or that clan tag's cool. They should introduce cool, uh, that's just, uh, listen, that's something like, they do all these emblems and stuff and calling cards. Imagine if they did clan tags like that, like special clan tags. I think that'd be cool. What do you guys think about that? Why did you look here? What the hell? Where are they at? Oh, teammate. Nice try, brother. Oh, they didn't flip. I ran all the way over here thinking they flipped and they didn't. Have you guys ever ran into a dev in your time playing? If you have, you guys let me know. And if you have, what kind of dev? Like, you know, there's an Infinity Ward, Treyarch. Where did he go? Changing mag. Took a shot. Target marked. Request fire mission. Copy that. Phoenix 2 3 is on station. Go for tasking. Enemies down. Dust it up. Need recon over here. Hard point compromised. Friendly fire. Be careful. Drone swarm inbound. Tossing some decks. Hundred and six against the dev. I kind of want to talk to him. Sailing, that's demonware, right? <laughs> 